The following video is rated TVMAL and contains excessive coarse language intended for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Right. One more episode to go until the big 50. Roll that sexy camera and cue that sexy light. What the fucking crap boys? We're not even one full hug, and motherfucking we into this fucking video and we've already got an army full of fucking twilight zone logos. Not to mention it's only the first fucking take of the day as well. Tremble in fear, assholes. We are the army of Twilight Zone logos. And we are here to prove to the world that we are the spookiest army to ever exist. Unlike those non-scary bullshits known as the Oz film logos, that is. More <laughs> Hey, what the fuckity fuck fuckity fuck fucking crap hell did you just say about us? You should know very damn well that we, the army of Oz film logos, are the most scariest out of all the armies of logos, and you are just a watered down bag of shit. Go oh, shut up, Ozma. You're not even that scary anymore. Everyone is so sick and fucking tired of your asses showing up in goddamn sons of bitching fuck fuck fucking videos like these. Just ask the army of Fox logos and the tailor man himself. Plus, Ozzy, you may have been the first scary logo in existence, but you were dominated back in the Dave Madsen universe. And what we say ain't bullshit, you are. Deny that fact, and we'll make you a permanent member of the Twilight Zone, bitchy witchy. <laughs> What the fuck the fuck 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 bitch crap ass is this? Somebody else wants to be better than us. Get the fuck out of here, all of you. You need to shut the fuck up with that candy ass flat ring. Besides, the 1960s are over. Your series is fucking dead. Forget the Twilight Zone, you are more like the Twilight Zone to us. I have a feeling this is becoming a clusterfuck of an episode. You're not kidding, Steven. I wonder how the army of Fox Logos is gonna react. What about when we fucking made the Lord of Davis in this chaos? How many times do we have to tell you fucking assholes to stop ripping us the fuck off? It's bad enough that we have to deal with this shit every fucking day! You know what? We're sending in our backup army to deal with this shit! Army of Boomerang Logos, get your asses over here! Right fucking now!
Right, what the fuck is going on? And what in the name of the Kerner Broadcasting System is this madness? We have three fucking ripoffs trying to take over this goddamn episode! Excuse me, we are not fucking ripoffs. You're the more obvious ripoffs of us, you goddamn imposters. Yeah, what she said. And besides, when you were branded in 2014, you lost almost half your fucking viewership. Which explains why you are the suckiest cartoon channel ever to exist. Enough of this yakba doodle bullshit. You are all nothing compared to us. We are the dominant superior logo army around here. Wow, what a bunch of desperate show-offs. I'm gonna pull something out that is way better than all of you. Watch this! They get triggered you shitheads. You simply cannot match the power of our Australian greatness. There is no other army that is more bigger and powerful than us. T-Bird, what in the name of Kerry Packer is this fucked up bullshit? Are you fucking high on Mountain Dew or something? What the fuck have you done to this series, you crazy human being? No, it's not Mountain Dew. Although, I did have some Pepsi before we started. Well, that pretty much explains it all. Holy fucking shit man. You need to give the caffeine a huge fucking break. Maybe you should shut up. Maybe fucking enough. And now we shall give all of your armies of logos a fucking nuclear bomb. Right fucking now. THX actually made a less scary trailer than the Broadway and Eclipse ones. Let us remember the late 90s and early 2000s kids with their collection of Disney VHS tapes who were spooked to death. And the cries of fear too. Why do I rent from Enterprise? Very simple. No stress. They arrange to pick me up free, so I don't have to ask anyone for a ride. See? No stress. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. You can't come up with a better slogan than Enterprise. Yeah, no kidding. Even something as simple as a car rental company can come up with something that will be stuck in people's heads forever. So pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Hey, maybe I can rent some bologna sandwiches from Enterprise. No! Didn't we just use this logo in CRELV45? That was the 1997 logo. This one is the current logo. If only they never got sued for those allegations of, okay, I'm not gonna say it cause you two beats that shit on here. Nice save, Sydney. I'm not willing to get this channel taken down again. Don't remind us about that shit. Some people who will be hit with a burst of nostalgia from this logo. You ain't kidding. There really is something about those 2000s Walt Disney DVDs that just screams epic nostalgia. Studio 
canal? Is their studio really floating on a fucking river of water? No, this studio canal is based in France. And they had a big hit with the epic movie known as Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Oh yes, that movie featuring Arnold Schwarzenegger. His role in that film was badass. Nintendo DS. The revolutionary device that changed the gaming world forever. Back when stacking two screens on top of each other was a breakthrough concept. Nintendo 3DS. It's so interesting to know that a little number can make a huge difference. And you didn't need them 3D glasses either to experience 3D at its finest. Not to mention Virtual Console, which is like, playing the games that made Nintendo so famous. Isn't that the most kick-ass thing of all time? Playing them flashback games, it's like you actually owned the goddamn console back in the day. Nobody cares! FUCK OFF, BITCH! Oh. And speaking of nostalgic handheld video game consoles, this one instantly tops the list. Bruh, did you even have a list to begin with? You can't just say that the Game Boy Advance tops the list. Mate, why don't you shove that burrito infested brain straight up your fucking ass, you dumb idiot. <laughs> You insult my great fetish, you know goddamn well I don't eat great as often as I used to. <laughs> and just like that, our audience got a nostalgia flashback. <laughs> Oh my god. Why can't we have a video free of fourth wall breaks? Just asking this out of curiosity, but why the hell are we getting preschool logos all of a sudden? I can't help it if one of my subscribers has a craving for all this stuff. <laughs> No reaction. one of the most amazing things that I have ever seen. Yeah, I know. Using characters from other DreamWorks films really makes this logo superior. And not to mention, they brought back the 2009 fanfare. So that really gets to it. Streaming service that literally nobody uses, except for those crazy assholes known as kids. Are you seriously trying to get YouTube to mark this video for children or something? I was only stating the truth. You can't handle the truth! Way to rip off Jack Nicholson.
Mario is bringing the party to Nintendo DS. You can play up to 60 new minigames with up to four people. Mario Party DS. One is fun, but four is a party. Only for Nintendo DS. Rated E for everyone. Hey, commercial plugs in a CRELB episode. Do I have to give another fucking lecture to a certain Scotty about this? Don't you fucking go there, Sam. Besides, we don't want this series turning back into a Dave Madsen ripoff. Let's just focus on the fact that this was only the second handheld Mario Party game. And the last developed by Hudson Soft the form Nintendo said fuck it and brought in ND Cube. Believe me, the series was better with Hudson Soft at the helm. Although we can't deny ND Cube is good. Toys for Bob, better known as the guys behind those successful Skylanders games. Not to mention the Star Control games as well. Yeah, now they're working on Call of Duty for Activision. I mean, come on! Here we go, suffering from my country for a change. Ah yes, Canada's own Elgna. Who could forget Little Bear? Let's not forget about the Care Bears animated series, in addition to George Shrinks, Timothy Goes to School, and others. Nothing like a good company with shows that everyone will remember, just like this series too. Not gonna say a word. What the fuck is this now, Thomas and the Magic Railroad? No, it's just Domain Pictures. I know, but I fucking hate Thomas so goddamn much. Well, I don't know about you, but Thomas is my favorite. Yeah, coming from someone who talks so manly, just like Morgan Freeman. Damn! You son of a fucking bastard, I don't talk like a man, and why must these jokes always target me? Yes, BBC2 on their creative items stat in the 2000s. It all goes back to the 1990s. And I sometimes wish we could have that same creativity over these logo blooper series. where this feels like a Michael Bay movie. Namco, the guys who made Pac-Man and Tekken famous, and then they merged with Van Game 2006. To be honest, why do mergers even exist anyway? I mean, these people should be better off being successful in their own goddamn companies, and not combining into one whole company. That's some fucked up bullshit. Uh, 
I thought we were gonna be done by now. Yeah, I've gotten a lot more requests than usual this time around. Yeah, these episodes don't usually last longer than 20 minutes. But hey, I'm sure the fans will let us know about it. I can't take this fourth wall breaking anymore. Fucking cry, baby. Hey, we used this logo before in. Don't say it's Mary. We don't want Mike rampaging throughout the goddamn studio again, because, yeah, I think you know where I'm going. God damn it, I forgot. Star Wars, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, The Sound of Music. In the tradition of these great films about fighting back against the odds, 20th Century Fox presents another milestone in motion picture history. Revenge of the Nerds. Nerds! Now that's a surefire way to make a statement on an upcoming movie. By having the 20th Century Fox tower crumble into fucking oblivion. Yeah, too bad it never got the attention it received, and the sequel was awful as well. Children's Television Workshop. Two words come to mind when I see this logo, Sesame Street. Oh really? Well I have two other words for this logo, Dragon Tales. And I got two words for you both. Shut up. Play. The guys who brought us the Fallout games, as well as the Walters Gate and Descent games. Yeah, not to mention Wasteland. That game will forever be a classic. Too bad these guys almost fell to bankruptcy, and twice, for that matter. How many requests have we got left in our log? This video's been dragging on for over 20 minutes. Oh, uh, we got plenty more. Fucking damn it all the way to hell. You're watching WJCT Public Television, Jacksonville. WJCT, the PBS affiliate for Jacksonville, Florida. They also operate a radio station, WJCT FM. Who the fuck even listens to the radio nowadays when we've got a much better way of receiving information known as television? <laughs> I got nothing to say for a logo that's frequently seen all over the goddamn place. You were just saying that, Sam, because you- Oh wait, I forgot Mike's gonna go insane if we break the damn fourth wall again. Nice save, Scotty. Avalanche Software, also known as the company that brought us Disney Infinity. Before Disney shut them down in 2016, only for Warner Brothers to reactivate them in 2017. Getting shut down by one company and getting reactivated by another is really interesting.
right. Did the army of Fox Lavos make a deal with Kent just to get this request up? Emma, what the fuck? Are you, like, the next fucking James Bond or something? I'm not trying to be a goddamn spy. I'm just not in the mood for another Fox Army scene in this video after what happened earlier. Well, we don't have a fucking clue who keeps ripping us off. But we swear, we're going to find them and kick their fucking asses all the way to the fucking sun. Ugh, this is getting really boring. I mean, this used to be funny, but now it's not. Whatever. We'll see you around. Columbia Pictures Television, formerly known as Screen Gems until 1974. They later became Columbia TriStar Television in 2001, before that became Sony Pictures Television a year after that. We can't forget those two classic soap operas they produce, Days of Our Lives, and The Young and the Restless. Who even watches fucking soap operas anymore? I mean, nothing good ever happens on that shit anyway. don't know how fucking impatient I am right now. Touchstone Pictures, the guys who gave us your friend Roger Rabbit and Armageddon. Yeah, before they closed down in 2017. Just another bullshit move by, yeah, you know who. on Saturday, and there's nothing to do, so let's all settle in and watch some Toonami. I wouldn't even make it through the whole night. But hey, we got those diehard anime people! Nintendo, we love you, we hate you, we're so looking forward to that upcoming Mario movie in April, and we hate Chris Pratt, for having the lead role. I think we can all agree on that. Yo. We just used this logo on CRELB47. No, you're thinking of the Wigga Wigga logo. This is the paintball logo, used from 1971 to 1976. God, I need to stop having them tacos every fucking day. But in any case, that was our last logo of the session. And boy, you don't know how relieved I am. Obviously I'm not that surprised, but boy, I sure hope our audience can keep up with the duration of this video. <laughs> Okay, that fucking does it. The next person who breaks that fourth wall, I will rip you apart with my bare fucking hands. Somebody needs to get my fucking chill pill. Did you know Michelle is a half-baked Taylor Swift clone from Germany? <laughs> 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 Michelle, 